do you want me to uh, share your uh, share your presentation? Uh, yes, of course. But yeah, uh, and actually, it's uh, it is unnecessary. I can yeah. I, I just like talk. Yeah, the free talk. So because Please when I go. see the people's face. So I just want to follow the full step of ambassador. She, her, her yes, speech yes. is so insightful, so impressive. Exactly. I, exactly. And before I give the presentation, I just want to say thank her dedication to the promote the friendship between China and Pakistan. And uh, also suppose the pandemic is, will be over this year, I'll be honored and happy to invite her to be our guest speaker and the professor to give the lecture at our school, SIPA, School of International and Public Affairs at the Jinan University. I will do my best to host her very, very much. Okay, please trust me. And uh, also at the same time, I want to thank you very much for your invitation, to for you inviting me to give the lecture. As always, you are, you are so nice, so kind, and so gracious as a full as a model for me to follow your styles and this is my honor okay and uh, to, because we have uh, so many distinguished guests i just want to show them my my presentation focus on china focus on the sports olympic games and the china stream and the diplomacy because we have an ambassador a professional diplomat uh, here, so I don't want to talk too much about uh, about the diplomacy in because I don't want to show me very 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 stupid. <laughs> okay, because in China we say, "Don't teach don't teach the master how to make how to make the skills." Because she is a professional deep senior diplom senior professional diplomat. I'm just uh, talking and uh, very 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 very, very academic person. So I need to learn from her, but I still want to give my opinions, my perception on the Olympic game and the China. So to understand the China, why the whole country from the leader to the, so to the society people are so enthusiastic about the Olympic games, we need to we need to we need, we need to understand the, the origin of the Chinese modern history. Just two sentences. First, the modern history of China is very humiliated. So China was humiliated by the Western powers because of China, not only because China was weak or poor or backward, but also because the Chinese people were not as strong, physically were not as strong and healthy as Western countries. So the China was called the Sigma in the East. That is a very bad word. The sick man out in the East describing China, not only poor and backward, but also people very, very unhealthy. And uh, so this is the, 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 the modern humiliation. However, this modern humiliation in, inspired China, particularly the Chinese uh, CPP, the lead the political elites and the CPP to struggle for a modernized, powerful, strong China. So this is why Xi Jinping and the Chinese government repeatedly say we have a two 100 year dream. One is we must make China stand up. That including the Chinese people health. Second, including the China must be, must be strong in technology and, uh, and economics. So, so what I want to say here from the very beginning China related a strong country to technology, economics, and the public health. So the Western countries always denounce, criticize China, ignore or look down the human rights. But if you look at the Chinese government from the, even from the 1930s, the, the KMT, particularly the PRC, the central government, Pay, uh, uh, pay huge attention to the public health because we believe that a strong country, a civilized country is impossible without the public health. So this is why in China, the, fem the, doc the female doctors and the, uh, the female doctors and the scientists are very huge compared to other advanced countries, Europe and America and Japan. So this is what I want to say. Second, uh, 
what's the purpose for China are so motivated to hold the Olympic games, summer and winter, particularly this, this winter for three reasons. Of course, you can list for many reasons. I just want to summarize three reasons. First, to organize, to host an Olympic game, no matter summer or winter, the country must have a power, finance, financial power and technology. So, so far, the Winter Olympic game goes well because we have supported the government, the whole society supported the Olympic game goes well. No any troubles in terms of the train traffic and also under the pandemic period, it is very hard to hold an Olympic such huge scales. So the, so the China want to present itself into the world. We have this capability to host the Olympic well, but we follow the we follow the the principles, make a faster, simple, and uh, and safe. That, 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 that is another thing. But China want to show we are able to do that. Second, morally, you can use the soft power. President Xi Jinping pay a lot of attention to the to this Olympic game because he said he promised, he said that the promise Ch China will make a contribution to the Olympic game. And he said, China want to show the world that we dedicated, committed to the Olympic game to make, a, to keep our promise. So far that nothing trouble happened. No, no any person sick or Da, da, da. So the China want to show the world we are China is a responsible and a reliable country. And uh, then the third is that China want to promote the Chinese ideas. We work together to can make the world better. And also Ambassador mentioned that, uh, just mentioned that before and during the Olympics and uh, many world leaders visit China. And, uh, Pakistan is one of the key, if not ally, is one of the key close country with China. And also I realized during, during, uh, in our joint statement, China and Pakistan used the, the term com community, China, Pakistan community. In diplomacy, this is a very strong term. That means we, bonded together, not only for the geopolitical reason, we bonded by our common interests and the common commitment to the world. Personally, I believe China and Pakistan work together. If China and Pakistan work together, the South Asia will be safe, will be peaceful, no doubt. No any country in South Asia, inside, outside, can be challenged the unity of China and Pakistan. I don't think so. Of course, the two countries not for the hegemony. The two countries want to make the peace and development. Second, the China and the Pakistan can work together through the CPEC to show the world China and Pakistan can work for the, the result is a win-win win -win solution. This is very good uh, uh, sample for China to push the one belt, one road. Actually, diplomatic, diplomatically speaking and the geopolitical speaking, Pakistan has supported China very, very much. During the Cold War, during the Afghanistan, during, even in the post-war, uh, even in the, in the new, in the Pakistan reconstruction. So I hope our two countries can work together with other neighbors, Russia, Iran, and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, we can build, we can make a build, we can make a good contribution to the to the regional peace and to show the world Olympic Olympic spirit is the is the is the core for the whole world harmonious society. Thank you very much. I don't want to take you too much time, but I'll be happy and ready to to have a discussion with you. Once again, thank you, thank you very much for your invitation.